Eugeniusz Wierzbowski and I was born 2nd of January 1920. I was born in a village just outside the town of Skiersz. That's very nearly central Poland. Always, from a young age, I used to make model aircraft, read whatever books I could, and flying because I wanted to be a pilot. Every generation in Poland had to fight, either against Germans or Russians. They occupied Poland for over a hundred years. Can't see from here. I think that's me. Some of them I remember. Oh, faces, yes, but names, hard job. It was taken by a panoramic camera, and my daughter, it was rolled up. She managed to get it framed for me. I never expected to survive the war, never. We were losing people quite a lot. We really had a hard work flying all through the, throughout the war. The first logbook that I got was a large size, good quality paper and it had 80 pages instead of 40, which the others had uh, later editions, following ones. Simply because young pilots, especially fighters, fighter command, and of course bomber command as well, they would do one, two, three, half a dozen operations and get shot down. Which means they would have filled in a few pages of the logbook and 70 pages blank, unused. So the next logbooks that came out were only 40 pages. They just didn't last long enough to fill them in. We lost 11 crews while I was there during the war, which was just over four months. Seven in the crew, so that's 77 people shot down. left, left, right, steady. And then you hold the course for a couple of minutes for the photo flash to fire and light up the target where you hit. We were glad to be in the 
service and to be able to hit back, I presume. That was the general feeling as far as I was concerned. Well, we had a job to do. <laughs>